I'm Peter with Ericom, the Cybersecurity Unit at Cradle Point. Now, last time on the Ericom Enlightened series, we talked about remote browser isolation or RBI. Now, RBI is for the browser side of the connection to the application. And so this time we're going to talk about web Apple web application isolation and it is based on RBI sort of similar but kind of shifting where the isolation is occurring so let's draw our person over here with their computer it's I don't know Give them a little something, little something there. And then over here is our applications. Oh, and you know, data center, cloud, what have you. You click a URL, these communicate back and forth to each other, the application executes in the browser, and you interact with a website. Now, in this instance, however, there's certainly risks involved. Unmanaged devices can pose risk to applications, and then certainly there could be um, mischievous going on with the applications that then impact the browser or the user. That's why we have remote browser isolation. And so in this instance, someone who's looking to attack the website is connected to it directly. They might be wanting to do, you know, credential stuffing, distributed denial of service attacks, SQL injections, you know, whatever the attack du jour is. They're also able to understand, in some ways, the application code, maybe even the hardware itself to see if there are any vulnerabilities running on, on the server itself or the application code itself to target that. And so, need a little wiper here to combat against that, just like isolating the browser, Instead of isolating the browser, here is a isolated cloud container. And instead of uh, web application isolation, instead of executing the application within the user's browser directly, what we do is we isolate the web application within a cloud container. And so now, instead of going direct, the application is being executed in this cloud container, still talking to anything it needs to talk to on, on the back end to deliver images and other such things that feed in to the application. And then this individual here in their browser, they're actually simply watching, literally streaming this instance right here. It takes this huge chunk of code, and when you kind of decode this, it's less than 100 lines. If they're wanting to attack the application itself with any number of these attacks, all they're doing is essentially attacking this little cloud container. They're not touching the application at all. And so we're protecting all of this back end. So if you think of like the OWASP top 10, web application isolation can help protect against the OWASP top 10 for web applications. Recently, they came out with uh, version 1.0.1 of the large language model for OWASP. 
So the large language models are the generative AI stuff on the back end. And a lot of organizations are now incorporating the, you know, gen AI into their systems for support, for search, for chat bots, for things like that. OWASP came out with their early version of the top 10 for uh, generative AI sites. And there are things like injection and other such types of attacks that you can hit this model on the back end to impact the application. And certainly isolating the application can help protect against some of those also. You have a lot of control here within the cloud container. You can do things like data loss, prevention. Uh, you can do the CDR stuff, which is kind of stripping. It's file sanitation, file sanit, sanit, Sanitation, sanit sanitation, you know the word, sanitize it, where it'll um, break it down and reconstruct the file to make sure there's no nasties in there. You can control um, uploads and downloads by file type, by name, by contents, things like that. Maybe you don't want EXEs or XLSs or you know, anything else that might have like macros in it. Maybe you want to isolate a SaaS installation um, out there in the cloud, having to go through the uh, web application isolation. So DLP, CDR, uh, sanitizing files. You can make the site read only if you want to do that. So you're really controlling a lot of the flow back and forth what the user can and can't do, and then ensuring that things like malware or web application attacks are literally contained in this cloud container, never reaching the application at all. That web application isolation, and it's really based on the remote browser isolation. And one final thing, as soon as you close the tab, close that browser and the session, this whole container just poof goes away for um and it's gone and the application stays behind the curtain <laughs> if you will if you'd like to learn more about rbi or specifically web application isolation i encourage you to visit ericom.com always sign your work i'm peter if you enjoy light boards such as this, the Ericom Enlightened series, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Ericom Enlightened series. Ericom, the cybersecurity unit of Cradlepoint. Visit us at www.ericom.com today.